and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be talking about some of the art at Graceland over the years. Let's jump in! So this video kind of fell together when I noticed a lot of the photos in my secret Graceland folder were about art, so we'll cover these today. Of course, this isn't every piece of art, just certain ones that we might see on the tour today, but also some that are long gone. The first piece we'll be examining in this video is this 3D framed picture. The top is a scene of soldiers with a baby, and the bottom appears to be a religious scene. When I first came across this close-up photo, I couldn't identify it, so it sat in the to be determined pile. But recently, on our live trivia, the questions were based on my video about the TKE fraternity visiting Graceland, specifically in the music room. As I rewatched the video to come up with the trivia questions, boom, there it is. In this black and white photo, that 3D art is hanging on the inside of the music room where one of the stained glass peacocks is today. So now let's go down the hall to the downstairs bedroom that once belonged to Vernon and Gladys Presley. There's only a couple of photos of that room in the 1950s, and though the space has been recreated to what it once looked like, here are some paintings to get a better idea of what the couple had in their bedroom. There are three scenes of old statues and ruins, and these hung above their bed. In 1995, the paintings were auctioned off by Patsy Presley, who wrote in her letter of authenticity that she received the pictures after Minnie Mae passed away. The kitchen is another room that doesn't have many, if any, public photos out there, so it's hard to know exactly what it looked like prior to the 1974 remodel. Here are a couple of fun paintings that hung inside the Graceland kitchen in the 1960s. Soup's on. This one is of a pot and vegetables with a recipe underneath. This melon magic one is super cool. It shows different ways to prepare melon. Both of these paintings were sold by Patsy Presley as well. Food-themed art was consistent at Graceland. In this mid-70s photo of Linda Thompson and her parents in the kitchen, there is an apple pie painting above her shoulder. We can also see a clock on the wall with vegetables or fruit instead of numbers. Here is a view of that same corner today and we can get a clearer look at the painting for hot apple pie. The clock has actually been replaced with one of orange and lemon slices. Out in the jungle room, there is a really cool piece of art that isn't there anymore. If you visited Graceland in the early days of the museum, you would see this large photo or painting of Elvis from Aloha from Hawaii on wood hanging on the wall next to the carpeted staircase. This particular piece is really interesting because it seems like something a fan would have. I know I used to have this particular poster in my bedroom in high school, but this did hang in the house at least since 1981. In the clip of This Is Elvis as the actors playing Elvis and Ginger finish playing racquetball and come in the house through the jungle room, just as Pauline asks if she can fix him some sandwiches, there's that aloha picture hanging above the staircase. It's kind of hard to see. Here's another close-up of a small piece of art that once hung in the pool room after 1974. This one is of a dragonfly perched on a stick that looks like cloth. There actually used to be a bit more art in that room back then than there is today. In this view from the mid-70s, there is a small dragonfly print just above the couch. Here is a close-up of a vibrant painting of various women in an abstract theme. We don't see this one on display anymore, but if we were a guest at Graceland in the 1970s, it was located in the corner that we stand to look out into the room. In this photo, the door on the right leads to the TCB den, and the one on the left is to the hall that takes you back up to the jungle room. When this museum was a home, there was an organ in that corner, with this painting that we just saw propped up on the top of the organ. There's actually another photo with this painting hanging on the wall on the left. The art in this room has kind of moved around a lot. Here's a look at that corner of the room again, this time in 1982 by Memphis photographer William Eggleston. And there's the second print from this room hanging on the wall. Next, let's head outside. This photo was actually sent to me by someone on Facebook named Eric. Here is a view of the back of the meditation garden that we typically don't get to see. There are these really beautiful wheel shapes inside swirls. If anyone knows what this pattern is or what this represents, please let me know in the comments below. And that is it. What was your favorite part? Let me know in the comments below. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram for rare photos and fun facts that don't make it into the videos. I'll also be sharing some of the photos I used in this video. The links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe for more adventures.